You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. So he, 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 Ron Brownstein tweeted this out, uh, Michael, and I think uh, this really, uh, I believe, explains exactly uh, why Republicans uh, are doing what they are doing. Let me pull this tweet up because I think it's important. Uh, this is, uh, this is um, what, uh, let me zoom this in right here. This is what he said. Overlooked, even with huge increase in turnout last November, showing again Trump's appeal for them, non-college whites fall below 40% of actual 2020 voters in new U.S. Census data for the first time, per William Fry of the Brookings Metro. He then said, even Trump's pull can't change the long-term arc. Since 2008, non-college whites have fallen from 51 to 41 percent of eligible voters and from 48 to 39 percent of actual. College plus whites have grown from 20 to 22 to 25.5 percent of early voters, 28 percent to 31 percent of 31 percent of actual voters, people of color up from 27 to 33 percent of eligible 24 to 29 percent of voters. That right there is why Republicans are doing what they're doing, Michael, because they live off of those non-college whites. That number is dramatically falling and the other numbers are going up, benefiting Democrats. Yeah, you know, Roland, this all ties into the um, fear of the browning of America. This ties into um, also the the, um, the white people having a negative birth rate in 26 states out of 50, as uh, the U.S. Census Bureau uh, announced in June 2018. And they're, they're, they're looking at the trajectory for the next 20, 30 years, they see they're declining in population, so they, so they want to make it harder for people to vote. They want to suppress the votes as well. And, you know, you would expect something like this from Florida because, see, when you talked about, uh, when, we, when we look at felony disenfranchisement, Florida was one, of, was one of the few states where you lost your right to vote if you had a felony for life, okay? And, you know, you know, the work that uh, Brother Desmond Mead has been doing down in Florida, and you've been covering that, uh, has been fighting against this. But, you know, this is th- this is all part of this plan, this part of this backlash yeah. from the 2022 presidential right. election that was consequential. And African Americans and Hispanics and others realized the, the power of the vote, and they realized that Trump had to be stopped. So, you know, they, they, they always come with this backlash in the courts and the state legislatures. OK, it's just like 2013, uh, Shelby County versus Holder, U.S. Supreme Court case, backlash to 2012 presidential uh, election where President Barack Obama won a, a second term. That's what we're dealing with here. So we have to fight against this and we have to keep up the pressure on the corporations to put pressure on the state legislatures as well. The, the work that Latasha Brown and others are doing, we have to keep this up, brother. But this is this is all out war. We're going to have to engage in economic guerrilla warfare, as I've been saying. Well, it's no doubt. And again, uh, you're going to see uh, more of this, Jason. You have mm-hmm. folks like Mark Elias, Lawrence Committee for Civil Rights Under Law, NAACP, Legal Defense and Education Fund, and others saying we're going to bow this out in the courts, which is why it was so important, uh, which is why Republicans held up more than 100 seats under President Obama and then gave the opportunity for Donald Trump, uh, him appointing all those federal judges, more than 280 this mm-hmm. is why, because they want them ruling in their favor once the lawsuits are filed. Absolutely. You know, uh, the judicial system is <clears throat> is, a, is a backstop for everything. And so they knew, you know, it's not just the Supreme Court, it's district judges, all of that. They knew that a lot of uh, their policies and ideas are going to go before uh, judges. It's funny, though, with Donald Trump, when he was president, he couldn't even win in front of his own judges because a lot of times, you know, uh, there was just no merit. There was no merit to a lot of their their uh, legal claims and lawsuits, and they would go in front of courts and lose in front of people that they put up there because they couldn't even fake it. And we saw that with the last election. Uh, I agree with the last brother. 
you know, these changing demographics scare them. This is why uh, a friend of ours, a uh, mutual friend, uh, Roland, uh, he shall remain nameless, is talking about, you know, replacement and bringing this replacement theory out there. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, you mean the white supremacist Tucker Carlson? <laughs> you know, uh, I won't, I'm not going to say anybody's name. I will. White supremacist Tucker Carlson uh, is leading the white nationalist network, Fox News, which is why mm -hmm. they... That's uh, right. So they, they call Jason. They ain't going to call me. But I'm going to no, go ahead and call... They don't call me anymore, either. Oh, they, they don't go call me. I, I criticized Tim Scott, and it went crazy. They're not going to call me anymore. <laughs> go ahead. But I, look, I'm glad to be here on Black-owned media on, on Roland Martin Unfiltered. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, that whole thing, this fear uh, of being replaced or this fear, and we heard that in Charlottesville, that's going to continue to drive even some of the policy that, that they have before them. They pretended to be for criminal justice reform, but we know in reality they want to stop us from voting, uh, stop uh, immigration, do anything they can uh, to maintain the current demographics, and they're not even trying to hide it anymore. So I think uh, the brother was correct. We need um, to continue to keep the pressure on uh, economically and in any other means. And hopefully uh, there will be some judges that can be appointed uh, under this current administration. Well, look, I, I have a book coming out in next year uh, that's called White Fear. And in fact, it, it, it's so funny. Uh, let me go ahead. I, I'm, I'm going to give y'all a sneak peek. All right, y'all, nobody else has this. Uh, we actually have finalized... Uh, what the title is going to be, uh, and it's real simple. It's gonna the book is gonna be called White Fear: How the Browning of America is Making White Folks Lose Their Minds. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is, and, and this ties into the uh, in 2016. Um, going into 2017, there was a big article from the Atlantic, Atlantic.com, that did an analysis of the 2016 presidential election, and it talked about how it was. It, it, they used the term cultural anxiety. Okay, they didn't say uh, white supremacy or fear of a brown of, of America. They said it was cultural anxiety that drove the uh, non-white college-educated uh, voters to vote for uh, Donald Trump. OK, and he, he he hit those cultural issues. And this is exactly, you know, this is exa exactly what we're seeing. All right, folks, back to our Roland Martin Unfiltered video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends, go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it, please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.